What's up guys, here's Claudio from Visual Moto WordPress Times and in today's video we're gonna learn how to create a post grid layout using the native WordPress block editor. So in today's video we will not be using any plugin, we will just use the normal and native WordPress block editor and also name it as Gutenberg. So go to our WordPress dashboard make sure that on your posts you have created some posts already okay because we're gonna display these posts into a blog page for example or into some part of your home page to talk about your blog okay so make sure that you have some posts right here after this go to our wordpress dashboard page add new we're gonna be creating a new page but make but be sure that we can I'm sorry, I go to media, <laughs> but be sure that we can go to um, any previously made page that you already have on your site, okay? But I'm gonna be creating a new one. Let me apply this page a title, and now I'm gonna call my posts right here, okay? How to do this? First of all, we're gonna need to click into this plus button, call it add block, okay? Let me apply some zoom, add block. After this, we're gonna search for this element right here, okay? The carry loop. This guy right here, okay? The carry loop. So we have two options right here. We can click on choose or start blank. I'm gonna select the start blank, but the choose also applies you some nice options. We're gonna explain this later. Click on start blank. Now select the variation to start with. We have title and date, title and accept, title, date and accept, and image, date and title. Normally for a post grid depends on the page that you are calling this, but normally I would like to use the image, date and title. So let's do it. And as you can see, all my blog posts is already right here into my WordPress page. Now we have some options, okay? Starting from the eatings per page, we can change the amount of eatings per page, for example, to six the offset and the max page to show, okay? After this, we can change the layout for a grid in the case that you want. Here is the pagination, okay? So this is a blog page, okay? We can review more options. In the case that you want, you can also remove this in the case that you want or move the places around. For example, remove the Next page. We can remove the pagination in the case that you want. You can align this, for example, to center. Now, if you click on the carry loop, right here you can see other options for example to duplicate to hide the more settings if you click into this icon right here almost like the infinite icon you can insert a carry front template into the settings if you review the right side of your page okay you can go to the post type for example posts page portfolio theme product you can call posts from any part of your site you can change the amount of columns the order by newest to oldest or always to newest you can stick posts in the case that you want. You can use future so you can call posts only from a special category or special tags or special author. You can change the color in the case that you want. 
for example, okay. And after your change is made, you are good to go, you can save your page and review the results we got. Let me change the color. Oh, by the way, let me remove this and apply a new one, okay? Let's start with a fresh one, carry loop, and now we're gonna click on to this button, choose. And right here, we can choose a couple of layouts in the case that we want. You can choose, for example, this one, that is a normal blog, okay? This one, that is a grid, and we have a couple of grid layouts in the case that we want, okay? As you can review right here, we have some amount of options. I would like this one, so we can do more tests, okay? and works exactly in the same way. We can change the typography now because we have more text, simple as it is. And we can show or hide the accept settings, okay? In the case that you want. Let me update the page. And let's review the results we got. This read more button is coming from the team that I'm using, one of the visual model team, the visual mentor team. But we can remove this easily in the case that you want as well. So it is. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Feel free to use the comment section below in the case that you have any question. And if you need a free WordPress team and an awesome free WordPress plugin in order to build up your site, go to thevisualmoto.com or go to wordpress.org and search for Enzo and Borderless WordPress plugin, okay? So the Enzo team came with some templates, okay? In the case that you prefer to start with a red website, you can go to the pro version and start with some of those amazing previously made templates for Enzo. However, in the case that you want to keep all for free, just install Enzo and start building up your site. It's very easy. And we have another playlist of tutorials here on our YouTube. Once again, if you like this video, if I did if you did learn something new, please share this content with a friend of yours, like this video, click on the subscribe button. We have no idea how much it helps us. And we are here today. And we're gonna be tomorrow. And I'll see you later. All the best!